what if I just do this and we pray for the best that that will do for the video. <laughs> I've angled this camera so many different ways I give up. So we need to talk guys. It's a brand new year and Josie's made some resolutions hasn't she? Hasn't she just? Hello, welcome back. Happy New Year. I really wanted to make this video, so this year is a new year, obviously. Uh, can't even speak. Right, forget that, forget that, forget that. 2018 was a year, it was a time, and it's over, thank God. I have never struggled so much with a year in my life. I really want to make this video so I can come clean with you guys and tell you what really goes on what's up with me because I feel like it could help someone it can help someone out there and if it helps one person then that is that is enough for me to live a nice clean conscience life or whatever 2018 was a struggle for me a huge struggle and I was very unwell and very mentally unwell and it wasn't until I made the changes that I realized what was making me ill and I realized that actually I'm not the person that I thought I was anyway I'm gonna drink some tea, I've got a dry mouth. <laughs> it's a nice um, berry tea and my mug says, life is beautiful, because it is, hun. <laughs> Let me just start by saying, at the very start of 2018, I was diagnosed with ME, or chronic fatigue syndrome. Basically, ME has got this really long name, myalgic emphysema something lightus, or something, I'll put it here. Um, chronic fatigue syndrome is basically what it is and for years I had been sick for years I had felt oh I've told myself I want to cry trying to film this oh, for years I had felt like something was wrong and I had woken up every day of my life and felt sick no matter what I would do oh, no matter what I would do I would be sick and I would be tired and I didn't know what was wrong and I would carry on with my life and every day people would tell me I was lazy and that it was all in my head and I was just depressed and that you know there was nothing wrong with me and for years doctors had told me that I was just depressed and they would give me pills and and to be told that actually that wasn't what was wrong with me was a weight off my shoulders but also was scary because it means that a chronic illness is forever. Oh, I told myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> I'm such an ugly crier as well so it's not, this is not going well. So I freaked out but also I felt very happy to finally be told that actually I'm not lazy and that it wasn't all in my head. I just felt like I wanted to turn around to all of the people who had ever taught me and say look it's amazing I was sick but I'm saying this because the minute I found out I had it me there were so many people in my life that I didn't know that I've already had it and that had been coping with it for years and who um who you wouldn't even know because they just get on with it and I can't believe I admire these people so much we need to talk about these things because Emmy just isn't that well known and <clears throat> it means that I still have not seen a specialist um, even though I was diagnosed like the start of last year it's 2019 now I won't see a specialist until March it's crazy in fact no April now they moved my appointment again so basically long story short I got diagnosed in the new year last year and the whole year has just been trying to cope with it and it's fucking hard it's such a hard thing to have to deal with because it's invisible and people can't see it and i've experienced a lot of prejudice this year through employers you know my line of work hairdressing is it's hard to because you do just have to put a face on and become someone else when you're at work and just pretend that you're not in pain and that you're not tired and that you don't feel sick all day so it's been a very hard year trying to deal with that so I've got a chronic illness and that's what I wanted to say and this year I want my videos to be more honest with you guys and I want to make more vlogs showing you know how I get around my diagnosis because it's still so fresh I still don't know what I'm doing how I'm coping with it 
so everything that I find out that works for me I'm gonna make sure that you guys know about because there's gonna be someone out there that it will work for too um, and I want to be able to be a bit of a voice in that way anyway so that that was one of the things that just <laughs> blew up my year last year like I don't know what to do <laughs> right now I've ruined my makeup so forget about that forget about all that forget that I just cried my eyes out on YouTube because that is so embarrassing um, but that's um, real that's me being real with you guys 2019 here's what I want to do my channel I want to bring it in bring it all in because I feel like I have not been myself for a very long time and now I'm starting to really feel like myself again I want to bring me to you I want to make my YouTube channel an extension of me I just want to make this a more real YouTube channel because for years I just feel like I go hi guys so today I bought this t-shirt and I bought these nice shoes and I really like it oh my god it's so cute whereas in real life I'm like look at this jumper oh my god mate look at this jumper I paid three pounds for this wool jumper boy you know what I don't do that on YouTube I put on this weird like plastic gaze and like I'm someone else and that's not me but I've been doing it for so long that it just felt wrong to stop doing it but now it feels right so right anyway here is my pledge to you guys 52 videos this year one a week one a week 52 videos this year one a week I'm gonna keep saying it so I know I do it 52 videos this year one a week that can be anything you want it can be a vlog it can be a sit down chatty video like this it could be a haul it could be a <laughs> exercise with me I don't exercise. It could be a anything really. Also, sustainability has become such a big thing that I want to keep keep it going for the new year. So, new year is all going to be about you know keeping that sustainability flowing in your daily life. You know, single use plastics, fuck them off. Most of you are here because I charity shop. Don't worry, I'm still going to charity shop. You can't keep me away from those charity shops, girl. Oh no. I literally was in them yesterday. I'm never going to stop charity shopping. It is life. For those of you that have come here from Lucy's videos, yes, I am a hairdresser, as you know. I will more than happily do some hair videos if that's what you guys want to see. I really, really, really am searching and searching and searching to find some sustainable hair solutions because, quite frankly, I think hairdressing is the most wasteful thing I've ever seen in my life. I've watched salons just throw colour down the sink throw it four bowls of colour it makes me sick and yet somehow they just get away with it mate no ready to clap back on the hair industry about that because it's just not cool just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see some hair videos 2019 who is Josie who will be like this charity shop hauls sustainability sustainable living health exercise vlogs lifestyle uh, some other stuff <laughs> I am gonna go now because we need to take the Christmas tree down <laughs> sad times my next video you're all gonna absolutely love is going to be me doing a Marie is it Marie Kondo Marie Kondo Marie Kondo uh, I'm gonna literally get all my clothes out and pick them up and decide if I like them or not because I need to do it I desperately need to do it I didn't even know this was a thing I wanted to do this before I watched the Netflix thing and I was like oh my god this is literally what I was about to do anyway so I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna film it and you guys are gonna love it because I've got loads of clothes um, that's next video so I'll see you next week for my wardrobe clear out peace bye